Hi everyone. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Hi, good teacher. Evening. How are you? Teacher, good evening. Great. Great. A good yes. day? Yes, I Fine. have a good day. Ooh, very busy? More or less. More or less. Okay, anything interesting that you would like to share? <laughs> I don't know. No, nothing interesting. Just a, a regular day. <laughs> a regular day. Okay, no worries. Well, uh, thank you for being here on time. So uh, today we're going to start section number four. And uh, we're going to watch some videos from the platform to get the vocabulary. So we're going to watch it together. We're going to be using that vocabulary. And as you may know, in this section, we will be um, making a, a comparisons and also we will be using superlatives. So I'm going to share this video with you. This is just vocabulary, just in case, just like a review, if you have already seen it. Okay, I'm ready, so let's watch the video. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Desert. Beach. Forest. Hill. Island. Lake. Mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay, uh, this is uh, pretty much and very similar to the uh, vocabulary that you heard there. It's beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, and waterfall. Is there any new word for you here?
And yes, this is the activity is the put the letter in each one of, of this picture, really. Yes, uh, that is correct. So, um, for example, uh, we can uh, we can do it together. Would you like to uh, have the remote control and label the pictures? Okay. You can put the letters. No, oh, no. <laughs> Go back. There. And then you select uh, here where it says annotate. Or you can uh, choose the pencil and do it with the pencil. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can select there. You click on annotate. Uh-uh. Go back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help you. Okay. Uh, just uh, select here. You can select text or uh, you can select here the pencil and you draw the letters here. For example, what is this? Volcano. Uh, the volcano. So you write here the letter K. Okay. Or you may select text here and then uh, you put this here so but you have to make it a small very small <laughs> so and either or so you can make it like very very small and then you have to move but this is a lot of work <laughs> so yes Rafael is helping us <laughs> <laughs> okay um okay continue Daniel You can select the um uh, any of Teacher, this. I can, but it's just... I can select select the the option that I can read uh, write the the letter. Ah, okay, perfect. Do it. Mm -hmm. In my screen, I don't have that option. Oh, you don't have it. Uh -uh. Okay. All right. Yeah, but basically, is that one? For example, in in this, uh, which letter would that be? K. Uh, K volcano. Okay, good. Okay. And here. F. Lake is the letter. F. 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 Lake. Uh, okay. And here? Desert. B. B. Uh huh. B. Uh huh. It's desert. And here? Forest. C. Letter C. Letter C. Forest. Uh, here? In this space? Waterfall. Uh huh. That is? L. 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 Waterfall. Okay. Uh -huh. So that is the idea of this exercise. So uh -huh. you can continue with this in your material that you download from the platform, or you can use this one that we have here. So the next exercise is um, a conversation where you will see the, I think that they are going to be using comparatives in this conversation, which is the topic today. So let's watch this video. Hi guys, in the conversation we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. 
I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. <coughs> Sir, I have a question. Hello, teacher. Page ninety three, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How many questions did Wendy get right? So let's see how you did on this quiz. The first question, which is larger, China or Canada? You said... Canada. And you're right. Both are large, but Canada is larger. Next, what's the longest river in the Americas? You said the Mississippi. Sorry, no. It's the Amazon. Oh, of course. This next question I didn't know. Monaco is more crowded than Singapore. So I got it right? I just guessed. And finally, you said that Bogota is the highest capital city in South America. Yeah, I remember hearing that somewhere. Sorry, Wendy, but you're wrong. La Paz in Bolivia is the highest. Really? Wow, I guess guess I didn't do so well. Too right, but too wrong. Okay, so how many questions did uh, she answer correct? Two. Dina? Too right and too wrong. Yes, that is correct. Excellent. To write and to run answers. Good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play the recording from the conversation and I'm going to uh, stop after each interaction so that you can repeat at home. And after that, we're going to go to breakout rooms for you to practice with your classmate. Okay. Unit 14. The Biggest and the Best. Page 93, Exercise 2, Conversation. Which is larger? Part A, Listen and Practice. Here's an interesting geography quiz. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Hmm. 
Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, now we will practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. So just let me stop sharing and create the breakout rooms. Oops. Okay, there you go. I'm fine, good. <laughs> I'm fine too. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Let's start the, the practice. Are the practice? Yes. Empezamos nosotros. Okay. Okay, voy a hacer mic. Perfect. Here, here is a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love you. Ge uh, geographics, ask me the question. Sure. First questions. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is large times China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's uh, the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I am not sure. I think Monaco is more in Congress. More crowded. crowded. More crowded. Excelente. Crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? Yes. La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's oh, that's, oh, that's, that's it, the... AC. Bogota is the highest. 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 It's highest. It's highest. It's highest. Okay. And okay. Now, now me. <laughs> um. Is eh, si quieres tú eh, es eh, quién fue Mike? Tú fuiste Mike. Yo. Okay. Entonces. Si quieres, yo ahora soy Mike y tú eres Wendy para que platiques el otro diálogo. 
Ah, vaya, chivo. Okay. Here's, here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the question. Sure. Third questions. Which country is larger, China, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's er, er, no, er, a hard one. Uh, which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, let's review some words. Uh, for example, let's see the first one. It's first. 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 Uh huh. First. 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 Okay. First. 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 And then we have this one is larger. Este es como ye. Larger. Larger. Uh, larger. 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 And then. Teacher. Hmm? Large, largest. Yeah, larger. Suena como con T al final. O so, o R no. o al final. R. Larger. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. Solo yeah. que. Esta... Sí, solo que esa G se pronuncia como si fuera una Y, larger. Ajá. Y escuché también, eh, um, ¿dónde está? South. 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 Ajá, South. Como con A. South. Ajá. South. 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 South American. South American. And then the last one, highest. Highest. Mm -hmm. Highest. Highest. Okay, Highest. continue practicing. Okay, thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Ahora,
Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Here we are again. <laughs> yes. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How do you say when the song um, parents have a conversation and do some, something pendiente? Uh, pending? Yeah, pendiente is pending. So what is, uh, I didn't get it very well. So do you have a, a pending topic? No, I have a pending some question with Vicente. <laughs> oh, you, you have me. some pending Ask questions with him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but it's a, a pending and um, in a quiz, um, quiz uh, question in the, in that other other team. <laughs> ah, okay. Not Maybe we wouldn't have the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they will be continue pending. <laughs> okay, good. Pending in your agenda. <laughs> All right. Okay, so is there any question with this? Well, the vocabulary was pretty uh, pretty easy, but I heard a couple of words that maybe we need to reinforce. Like for mm -hmm. example, the first one is here. Larger. Okay. Uh -huh. Larger. Uh -huh. it, Larger. It, this one? Larger. Uh -huh. It sounds mm -hmm. like G, like a Y, sorry, como uh -huh. Y, como una Y, mm -hmm. larger, larger. larger. And also the, geography. Geography. Uh -huh. geography. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. And then, um, let's see. I High, high, highest or highest. I don't know how, yes, how you, you are pronounce? correct. Highest. You are correct. Highest. 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 Highest, oh, okay. highest, highest. Uh, mm -hmm. About crowded is, is, is correct. Crowded. 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 Uh -huh. crowded. Uh, okay, good. It's crowded. And the other one was South. Here it's South. Uh, South America. Uh, uh -huh. okay. South America. South. 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 Mm -hmm. South. Okay. okay, good. And, and uh, that was. And mm -hmm. ask. Ask uh, you, uh, it's necessary to pronounce the K in the final. Sure, yes, ask because it's not it's like ask, mm -hmm. ask, 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 ask me, ask, ask me. me. Yes, yeah, you have to pronounce the final mm -hmm. sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, now let's go to the grammar part. We're going to watch the video as you may see in the conversation. Uh, they were using comparatives and also superlative. Let's watch the video. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now I will study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative, long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. 
famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the plus superlative adjective plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples? He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Okay, now that we watched the video, is uh, the content clear or you think it's still difficult to how to use the comparatives and superlatives? Let me know. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. And the words and comparative and superlative and words and the words. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia en pronunciación? It's the same pronunciation. The only thing is that if you are making a comparison, you use words than. Okay, so you have to add the word than after the, the adjective. So you're comparing two things. Cuando estamos comparando, se entiende que son dos cosas. Entonces con el comparative, eh, bueno, ese es un irregular, el que me dice words. So, si estamos diciendo, por ejemplo, um, comparando iPhone y Samsung y digo uh, uh, iPhone es peor que Samsung. So, I said iPhone is worse than Samsung. Ok, así era. Bueno, ajá, la idea es esa. Eso, estoy comparando <risa> dos cosas. Pero si ahora yo comparo un grupo de, de un grupo, ya no son solo dos, sino que pongo el grupo de marcas que conocemos, que si Samsung, que... Huawei, que si, ¿cómo se llama el otro? Xiaomi. Eh, Xiaomi. <ríe> ajá. Redmi. So, ajá. Redmi. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el peor? Entonces, ahí sí le agrego antes de decir, so, the words. Ya no uso tan, uh -huh. sino que le agrego el artículo de al principio, the words. Uh -huh. So, you can okay. say, uh, I don't know. <ríe> I don't mm -hmm. like, um, maybe Xiaomi, I can say, oh, for me, hmm. Xiaomi is the worst <laughs> cell phone in the world. <laughs> okay. I don't okay. know. That's just an example. No, no, no sé. Uh, el nombre okay. no me gusta, no me inspira. <laughs> but yes, mm -hmm. uh -huh, just like an example, pero es lo mismo la pronunciación. Solo que si va okay. a comparar, son dos cosas. Y luego, uh, primero menciona una, y luego el adjetivo, que sería worst. Y luego done. Y menciona la otra cosa que está comparando. Ahora, si es okay. en superlativo, eh, se escribe de último y lleva el T al principio. The worst. Es la the única worst. diferencia. Uh -huh. Ok. 
Any other question? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. I got a question. Okay. Uh, how we can learn the rules to to use the the adjective, comparative, superlative? Okay, that's not a problem. I know. Um, se las incluí aquí en el PowerPoint que mandé el día de ayer. Que bueno es este. Aquí teníamos la conversación que acaban de practicar. Y aquí uh -huh. les incluí todas las reglas porque también tienen como... Um, I don't have. ¿Ah? ¿No lo I, tienen? I don't, no. I don't have to. You send it to the WhatsApp group or... Yeah, to the WhatsApp group. Mm. Oh, okay. really? Yes, I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> Just to find out because I don't have to. Oh, really? Oh, you're making me feel worried. <laughs> se me olvidan las cosas. No, seguro lo encuentro y se los reenvío. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Sí, sí lo porque yo lo tengo. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay, Rich. Ajá, uh -huh. sí lo envié, ¿verdad? Ok, ok, ya, ya más tranquilo. <laughs> Aquí está. Uh -huh. Reenviar. No one can resent, please. Yes, please, can someone resend the, the, because, espérame, yo creo que ya lo hay, ahorita lo reenvía. Solo que me cuesta un poquito, a ver, este, acá. Yes, let me double check that is the correct one. No, not a problem. Uh, Creo que voy a dejar de compartir un momentito porque si no, no me... No, me... Mm -hmm. no ah, problem. Bueno, se los reenvío. Yeah. Ah, I have it. Okay. Right yeah, yeah. Someone resend it? Someone, uh, Elizabeth. Thank okay. you, Elizabeth. Yo lo acabo de, de señalar que usted envió ayer. Ok, ¿lo, ¿lo mandó o solo? Uh... Sí, ahí está, ajá. No, porque aquí ya solo le dan al mensaje y ya le va a direccionar al documento que usted mandó. Ok. Uh -huh. Ah, right now. Lo mandó I a las 7.43 ayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, sí, lo mandé okay. antes de Thank clase. You, entonces, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ok, ajá. Uh, so, ahí están las reglas eh, de, de cómo formarlos. Ahorita les comparto nuevamente para eh, how do we form comparative statements? And here we have the grammar reference. It says it with uh, one syllable adjectives. Uh, si son de una sílaba. If there are one mm -hmm. syllable. Um, Agregar. Y ajá, R. Se agrega ER o solo R. Y luego dan. Si el adjetivo ya termina en en e, e por ejemplo como por ejemplo nice el adjetivo nice, nice solo le agregamos r nicer than nicer than y aquí tenemos chocolate ice cream is nicer than than strawberry strawberry ajá estamos comparando dos sabores de helado strawberry. chocolate es mejor que strawberry entonces cuando uh -huh. estamos haciendo comparisons Vamos a estar usando dan, ¿ok? Eh, y okay, uh, yeah. si es adjetivo de una sílaba, le vamos a agregar er. Y si ya terminan con e, pues solamente la r. R. Okay. Uh -huh. Y ahora dice, uh, si son de, más, de dos o más sílabas, entonces si son de, más, de, de dos o más, tenemos que cambiar. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo vamos a saber? La, las sílabas son por pronunciación. Por ejemplo, pronunciamos la, el adjetivo boring. ¿Cuántas sílabas se escuchan? Boring. Dos. 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 Boring. Entonces, ese de dos. ¿Cuántas tiene expensive? Three. Three. Uh, expensive. Uh, expensive. Three. Uh, three. Okay. Three. Sí. Three. Uh -huh. three syllables. Entonces, en este caso, antes del adjetivo, vamos a agregar more. More. 
Luego el adjetivo tal cual, ya no vamos a usar la ER, sino que dejamos el adjetivo Se mantiene tal igual. cual. Y luego, ajá, le agregamos dan. Y nos queda more, more boring, than. boring than. More mm -hmm. expensive than. Esto es con adjetivos de dos o más sílabas. Dos o más. Y aquí uh -huh. tenemos ejemplo, ¿verdad? I think golf I think is golf more is boring more. than baseball. Uh -huh. El ejemplo con especie, this restaurant is more, more expensive better. than that restaurant. Uh -huh. Seguimos con That's los clear. comparatives. Ajá. Seguimos aquí con los comparatives. Y hay otras eh, dos reglas que tomar en cuenta. Si son de dos sílabas. Ok, y terminan en Y, esto es con el spelling, vamos a cambiar la Y por Y latina. Y luego agregaremos ER y después DAN. Por ejemplo, tenemos early y happy. Early y happy terminan en Y. Entonces, para la escritura va a cambiar. Vamos a drop the Y, vamos a quitarle la Y, a ponerle I y R, luego DAN. He arrived at school earlier than I did, etc. Ok. Eh, Estos es con los que terminan en Y y si son uh, de dos sílabas. Ahora, si, si terminan en vocal y consonante, ok, hay que duplicar la consonante, la consonante final antes de agregar dan. Ok. Big, se fija, bigger than. Estamos duplicando la última consonante. En uh -huh. uh -huh. hot, hotter than, WT. Uh -huh. Y hay unos que son irregulares. ¿Qué quiere decir irregular? Quiere decir que no siguen la regla esta. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos, uh, si se fijan, el, el good, bad y far son irregular adjectives porque no siguen las reglas que mencionamos Ninguna. anteriormente. Ajá, entonces, good cambia a better, bad cambia a worse, far cambia a farther than o further than. El, significa lo mismo. Ok. Uh -huh. Siempre vamos a agregar el than porque estamos haciendo un comparativo. Siempre va el uh -huh. than, pero ellos cambian radicalmente. No hay una regla para ellos. Good se convierte en better, Bad se va para worse y far, farther than or further than. Teacher, okay. that's, uh, that's a specific um, irregular adjective. Uh -huh. Esos tres específicamente son irregulares, no siguen una regla. Ellos cambian totalmente. No es que, si se fija, good cambia la escritura totalmente. No es que Better. solo le vamos a agregar ER o se va a duplicar algo. No, ella cambia totalmente. Por eso son irregulares. Lo mismo sucede con bad y far. Eso es con los eh, comparatives. Y luego venimos con los superlatives. Aquí les incluí también la información de los superlatives. Uh, Veamos, how do we form superlative statements? So we have here uh, the grammar reference. Se fijan para hacer oh. eh, superlativos, como ya dijimos, son más de dos cosas. Estamos comparando un grupo de cosas. Um, uh, si son de una sílaba, uh, por ejemplo, tenemos cold y nice. Oh. Los mismos adjetivos que utilizamos, solo que ahora los vamos a ver en superlativo. ¿Cómo formamos los superlativos? Si son de una sílaba, se agrega el artículo uh, DHE y luego EST o ST, right? Si depende, por ejemplo, cold, le agregamos el artículo D at, at the beginning, the coldest. Coldest. Ajá. Uh -huh. So you say January, son cuántos meses en el año 12, ¿verdad? De esos, January uh -huh. is often the coldest winter month. Winter month. Uh -huh. Entonces, para el superlativo, ahí ya no se usa dan, sino que se agrega el artículo D al principio, antes del adjetivo, luego el adjetivo y le agregamos EST. Igual, si el adjetivo ya termina en E, como acá, como nice, entonces sí. solo se agrega ST. Y siempre el artículo D at the beginning. She is the nicest person I know. 
Uh -huh. Si son de dos o más sílabas, entonces agregamos the most. Ya no es solo this, sino que the most. Y the el most. adjetivo se queda tal cual. Por ejemplo, boring. Solo diríamos the most boring. It's the most boring movie at the cinema. Expensive. The most expensive. We ate at the most expensive restaurant in town. Now, okay. let's see. Uh -huh. We continue here. With early and happy, aplica lo mismo. Si terminan, si son de dos sílabas y terminan en Y. Griega. Entonces esa Y se cambia por latina y se agrega EST. Uh -huh. Y siempre el artículo D al principio. Early, the earliest. Happy, the happiest. Eh, siempre duplicamos la letra final en los, en los adjetivos. Es como estos que llevan este parent que son uh, consonante, vocal, consonante. Y llevamos estrés antes de la, en la vocal. So la sílaba esta. Big, hot. Big, hot. So you see, uh -huh. son palabras que llevan esa fuercecita, lleva fuerza. Entonces tiene que cumplir el patrón este. Si fueran dos vocales ahí, pues ya no aplica. O doble consonante. No, tiene que ir así. Um, eh, ¿Qué no le salió? Bueno, ya vamos a ver. <ríe> Um, tiene que llevar consonante, vocal consonante y ser como con sonido explosivo, estresado. Big, the biggest. Hot, the hottest. Uh, y hot. siempre doble T y ST y el artículo T at the beginning. Y siempre ven acá que son los mismos los irregulares. Good, bad, and far. Por ejemplo, good se convierte en the best. The best. The best. Mm -hmm. um, y para comparativo es better. Uh -huh. Good comparativo es better y superlativo the best. So those are irregular, pero afortunadamente solo son tres. Porque no nos duele mucho la cabeza. Okay? <laughs> the, the bad is Menos the mal. worst. Far the farthest or the farthest. Uh -huh. Así que okay. ahí les incluí toda la información para que les quede ya en sus archivos secretos que van a estar repasando mientras no tengan <laughs> clases. It's very nice. Thank you. Top secret. Thank you, teacher. You're well, welcome. It's top secret. <laughs> y aquí tienen como el resumen que es lo que está en el material y aquí tienen adjetivo, comparativo y el superlativo. Ahora ya conocen las reglas y pues al principio nos toca estar como estudiando el cartelito, ¿verdad? Que uh -huh. decía de estos, cómo se formaban y volvemos ahí al cartelito, pero luego con la práctica ya so, se hace pues más fácil, ya se hace costumbre, ya como que se automatiza. Entonces entre más ejercicios hagan, se les va a ser más fácil aprender las reglas. Porque si yo me siento a querer memorizar todo esto... <ríe> Ajá. como que no, ¿verdad? Entonces, mejor no practicarlo. Eh, Le puede conseguir algún par de enlaces, tal vez mañana. Enlaces donde ustedes puedan estar practicando esto. Y vamos a hacer como un, un mini, uh, una práctica en la clase para que uh, pongan esto todo en conjunto, comparativos y superlativos. Así que mañana creo que voy a modificar la presentación para que tengamos más chance de práctica con este tema. Okay, so Thanks, now, Thank you. <laughs> you're more than welcome. So uh, for now, we have this exercise and you have it in your material. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. <laughs> Porque siempre se okay. Okay, good. Okay. Let's uh, remember to turn on the cameras and say present when you hear your name and probably we will have the chance to continue with the exercise. If not, we have time tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Be okay. Okay, Adam Marilu. <clears throat> Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Ivania. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Silvia de Flores. Thank you. Ana Silvia de Funes. 
Present teacher. Thank you. And I am seeing Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina del Carmen. Cristina del Carmen. Daniel Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Dina Esmeralda. Present. Thank you, Dina. Eduardo Jose. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Susana. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Daniel. Present. Thank you. Iris Concepción. Presente. Thank you. María del Carmen. Present. Thank you, María. Patricia Armaris. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto. Rafael Ernesto. Rosa Hilda. Rosa Hilda. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi. Vicente Israel. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jessica Rosibel. Jessica Rosibel. Okay, uh, remember that we are about to finish. Ya estamos por terminar las clases. Eh, solo nos faltan, eh, creo que después de esta cinco clases más y ya estarían finalizando el módulo. Recuérdense que uh, para lograr, y se dijo desde el principio, para lograr cubrir sus 16 días de clase y no perjudicar la vacación, los feriados, los festivos o, o tener que dejar de asistir porque pues teníamos celebración, etcétera, so, uh, o preparativos, se tomó la decisión de que se tuvieran clases los días viernes para completarles uh -huh. sus 16 horas. Así es que el sí. viernes sí hay clase y nos pidieron hacer énfasis en que sí hay clase el viernes porque los viernes se conectan bien poquitos. Ajá, es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe, pero cuando hay clase, hay clase. <risa> hay que, uh, ya van a tener viernes para el cuerpo ya despuesito. ¿okay? So para la okay. fiesta y lo que sea, pero por ahorita, este viernes clase. hay clase, por favor. Ok, excelente, Gra gracias. Thank you. Ok, so, um, el ejercicio, vamos a ver. Okay, here is to make comparatives and probably superlatives, but it says complete questions one to four with comparative and questions five to eight with superlatives. And then we have to ask and answer the question. Um, there is a, I think this exercise is on the platform as well, but yes, yeah, so the first one is for uh, comparative, right? So mm -hmm. how do you make the comparatives in number one? Which one is the which more which smallest big, big, uh, big, bigger smaller bigger smaller uh, I think it's smaller smaller, smaller. Uh -huh. smaller. smaller. y acuérdense uh, que en pregunta ya no usamos el dan porque ajá estamos es, es una pregunta entonces queremos saber cuál es más uh, pequeña entonces aquí solo sería smaller uh, smaller, like smaller. para el comparative, which country is smaller, Monaco or the Vatican City? Okay, mm -hmm. ahí ya no necesitamos el dan. El dan es cuando estamos haciendo la, la comparación, ya estamos afirmando. Okay, so, so you can say uh, El Salvador is smaller than Guatemala. So ahí ya estamos haciendo la afirmación, ¿verdad? Pero en pregunta no usamos el dan. A menos que esté preguntando, ¿is, uh, ¿is El Salvador smaller than Guatemala? Ahí sí. Uh -huh. 
And it's a C, porque quiero como confirmar. Quiero confirmar, is El Salvador smaller than Guatemala? And you say yes or no. But in this case, I am asking. I, I don't want to confirm. I don't have any idea. So I'm using which. Which country is uh, smaller, Monaco or the Vatican City? Okay. So mm -hmm. and that's what we have to be careful with question. Um, now, number two is comparative as well. So, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Which waterfall, waterfall is higher? Higher. 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 Higher, porque estamos comparando ER. El EST es para superlative. Remember. Which waterfall is higher? Niagara Falls o Victoria Falls. Okay. okay. Bueno, hicimos al menos dos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so mañana vamos a partir de acá y les voy a agregar más ejercicios para que reforcemos y practiquemos las reglas. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Nice Thank having you here you. and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good see night. Tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.